Hello my friends and welcome back. In the not so distant future, we're going to make something off of my commission list. And this week I have made everybody's favorite gumball machine shaped robot who provides prime commentary on only the finest of films. And this week I made Tom Servo. So let's go do the it's crochet time. make our tom servo we'll need some red yarn light gray yarn dark gray yarn black and white yarn i'll also be using my f or 3.75 millimeter crochet hook my scissors my yarn needle i'll be adding details with felt and stuffing let me just scooch this out of the way this too, but not that. Starting with our light gray yarn, we'll begin on the head. Now they don't make transparent yarn, so I've opted to just go with a lighter gray to make it be gumball bulb, I guess, portion of the head. With the head complete, I'll start on his bottom half. So I'm working my way from the bottom up. Working my way from the bottom up. Oh, for crepe's sake. Okay, now we're gonna start from the bottom. able to make almost a tube of sorts on the bottom edge to help him stand up a little more firmly. Get out of it. There we go. Now he's got his nice little pot belly and his robot neck. Now we can join the two together. All right, he needs his little gumball machine hat, Dealy Bobby. Looks like a nipple. It's a male nipple, it's okay. Intermission time is the perfect time for a shameless plug. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, click the like button, comment, engage, feed into that algorithm. I can also be found on Instagram as well as Facebook, and I've been diddling around on the TikToks like the youths do, and a lot of drunk wine moms. What other bullshit can I slam in here? A pattern for Tom Servo will be up on my Etsy and Ravelry pages shortly if it's not up there already. So check out said Etsy and Ravelry shops to see what other patterns or ready-made items I have available for sale. And now back to your regularly scheduled programming. arm time. I'll make the arms using some white and this dark gray yarn. his 1980s power suit shoulder pads out of some more white yarn. 
Now, my first exposure to MST3K was the Puma Man episode. <clears throat> Excuse me, Puma Man. Since then, I have binged through just about everything, everything that MST3K has done. Hell, what's one more request for engagement? What is your favorite? MST3K episode, if you have one. And share with me who your favorite robot friend is. Leave all that nonsense in the comments below. Back to Tom and the second or third attempt at his little beaky thing here. Made that out of some dark gray yarn. And added a little bit of black to it to form the mouth. Next, we'll add some details using the felt. Damn, that looked a lot easier than it was in real life. Now I'm going to add a couple more details with some needle felting. Boom. And without any help from my robot friends, I have made a robot friend. While my back porch may not be the ideal habitat for this robot, the lighting was pretty nice to get some final, final shots. everybody. I think it turned out great. I love all of the little felt features I was able to get on him, including his little like <laughs> Lego brick-esque looking control panel. And maybe Tom needs a friend. And with that, I thank you all very much for watching. I appreciate the crap out of you. Take care, everybody. Okay, I love you. Bye. Why am I like this? Flag core, baby. There's still stuff back here. I can see tape and gouache. Hold up. Oh, this bird is outside. There's so many. I'm far more excited than any normal person should be about the quantity of birds on my feeders. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll do pig.